For the first time since she took office amid a public health crisis that made international news, Flint Mayor Karen Weaver stood in front of the people of Flint to lay out where things are right now in her first State of the City address. I can pledge to you that I will not rest until we secure all of the funding needed, whether from the state or the U.S. Congress, to replace every last lead-tainted pipe in Flint. It is my intent to stand... The theme of Weaver's address tonight, rebuilding Flint the right way. But let's step away from uh, all out rebuilding Flint for a moment to the people of Flint who've been living with bottled water and serious distrust of not only what's coming out of their taps, but in government, do they feel like any progress is being made? Mara McDonald is in Flint tonight with more. Mara? You know, that answer is twofold. Yes, people tell me they have seen improvement here. They just haven't seen enough or fast enough. And then you've got Flint's elected leadership at each other's throats. The last time we checked in with Chia Morgan and her daughter Malia, every day was about making sure the filters were on the taps and bottled water was plentiful. Just cooking and getting a meal on the table and cleaned up afterward was a major production because of water concerns. Fast forward to today. I actually have the filtration system that has been installed and so I'm still using that. And if that is not on, I do not use the tap at all. Morgan went to Mayor Karen Weaver's State of the City address tonight. Flint is a wonderful, it's a wonderful place to live. And says while the address focused on rebuilding the city, which is great, there hasn't been a whole lot of movement that people feel or see. Still have to worry about the lead in the pipes, the health concerns that are years to come. Nothing has changed. And then there's the political crisis. Flint's mayor and city council are currently at war over a new garbage contract that would save the city $2 million. Weaver wants it. The majority of council members don't. It's gotten so contentious, one councilman was actually taken out of the meeting by security last week. Any sort of kumbaya political moment up here is long over. The water crisis, the crime, the jobs leaving and all of that, we need our city leaders to stick together as much as possible. So I won't point fingers at Mayor Weaver or the nine council members. I will just say that I hope that for the sake of the city, they can come together for themselves who are city residents, as well as the constituents that they serve. And where exactly do the water levels stand right now? Well, some good news. The latest round of testing shows that 93% of those sites show lead levels below the federal standard. We are in Flint. I'm Mar McDonald. Local 4.